I'm a monument on every continent. If it ain't big money, I'm not content. Tell me where the dog is. What's good? Word. Yeah, man. You already Word. know we're here with the legendary one and only, you know what I'm saying? Bronx is on. Good's mm -hmm. the animal. Mm -hmm. The slick talk god. You know what I'm saying? Check my own, um, my coasters though. See you feel me? Oh, that's dope. Yeah, see the goods on that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Just Nothing just but fly shit. Regular, man. It's just regular. Um, first, I gotta say salute to you, man. What's goods? Caffeine show? Yeah. One of the more entertaining, controversial shows on caffeine and on YouTube, because we get to rewatch it on YouTube for mm -hmm. those who missed the live action show. Mm hmm. But Joe, man, um, I gotta start right there, man. What's good? How you been enjoying, like, uh, doing you know, the show? Um, it's work. People don't think it's work, cause you, you know, it, but it's, it's work, cause you always gotta have good content. Um, you always gotta figure out your next show. Like, I, I write stuff down, what I, what I want to talk about. That shit's work. I don't think it ain't a work. Man. It look like you having fun. I'm not gonna lie, cause I don't. That's it don't look thing. like you working hard, man. That's the thing. I make, I make everything look like I'm having fun, but it, it be work. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta have. Fun and you know what I'm saying doing your work. You know what I'm saying. If you could, if you could find a job where you were having fun, that that'd be a job you stay at. So now, what's been the toughest? The well, oh, uh, two questions. What's the best thing about doing the show that you've been enjoying, mm -hmm. and what's the toughest thing uh, doing the show since you started? Um, the best thing is what's the best thing? Penny, <laughs> Penny Prop Crew. <laughs> Oh. Shout out my Penny Prop Crew. That's that. That's the best thing. The Penny Prop Crew is the best. Shout out the Broke Game. Broke too, Game. The broke Game being the builder. But Penny Prop Crew. But um, just um, the experience of of learning how to do a show is is, is this is something to put on your resume. You get what I'm saying? So this gives me the experience in actually doing my own podcast. You know what I'm saying? So which might lead to something bigger. You know what I'm saying? Or even something bigger with caffeine. So, yeah, just that, that the experience is, is, is the best thing to me. Just, you know what I'm saying? Oh. The, uh, what's hard is, is actually coming up with the content and keeping something fresh and being, and you gotta understand, I, there's a, it's a, it's a few shows I did by myself. Like, I, I don't have no guests on. Mm -hmm. I just start doing the guest thing because it has to be something that that makes sense for me to want to just call somebody like that to have a guest on. I don't just want to call a guest on and just talk about battle rap. I don't. I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? That, that shit is it gets boring to me. I don't want to talk about battle rap. It's it's more to life than battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the fans get caught up in just battle rap. Like I, I hear you. If you just into battle, that's cool. I'm into a million other things mm -hmm. besides battle rap. So w when I do have somebody up, I wanted to have some kind of substance. It just can't be just me and the muscles. It's a lot of shows I did by myself. And the shows I did by myself, um, it's hard. Don't think it's easy. I got to sit there and entertain for an hour and a half by myself. That's the hardest thing in the world to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You'll catch yourself looking at the clock, see the time. <laughs> and all. My first show probably was my smoothest show. Damn. My first show was my smoothest show. It went through, it went so smooth. I I wasn't worrying about none. I was just, I was in a groove. You know what I'm saying? But then as it go on, you gotta have content to talk about and to keep the people in there and, and wanna listen. So, listen, man. That shit ain't easy, but it's work. We hit it work. So, so you're saying the toughest thing is just basically recreating that magic over and over? Recreating the, the content. Um, yeah, what to talk about, what the, what the, what the people want to hear, like, you know. Um, you brought some interesting guests on your show. You broke down some interesting storylines that maybe some people would be afraid to touch. Mm -hmm. I could say in battle rap. Mm -hmm. um, what, um, I feel like your show is very candid, very open. Right. You speak your mind, you don't care about whose feelings you hurt. No. Per se, because I know you respect your peers and things like that, but... Yeah, but it's, it's just, I'm saying everything from the way I feel, and it, this is stuff I would say to anybody I'm talking about. You get what I'm saying? So I wouldn't, I'm not going to go in there just because it's, and, and, and bite my tongue. I'm going to say it, because I would say it to them. So, yeah, I just, I say exactly how I feel. I mean, I feel you got to respect that, though. If somebody said they feel about me, like I, for instance, um, somebody just sent me something with, um... What's her name? The little funny shape joint. Official. 
Say, saying something, Geechee gonna kill me, you know. I, I didn't watch it, but the, yeah. one of the fans was just, they was telling me something what she was saying, or, and that's that's her opinion. Like, I would never get mad or like, fuck that, but like, you know, niggas get mad and wanna come back, nah, that's, that's her opinion. And she's entitled to have her opinion on whatever she wanna have her opinion, but I actually respect her saying that. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So, you gotta, if somebody got their opinion, like, you, you should learn to love their opinion. That's just their opinion. You can't get mad at their opinion on how they feel about whatever the, the subject is. Mm -hmm. Now, um, one of your most controversial, uh, interesting shows, it's not just one, really. It was kind of like a series of shows, Rock, Moo, Hustle, and Dan Balls. That right there, you know, it kind of flamed up the internet. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're paying attention. I'm not. I, but I we out there, we watching that, you know. Um... A lot of questions were answered. I mean, a lot of an uh, questions was asked that was answered that we never. Some people might, even myself. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't even want to be like, "Yo, it's too much." Right, right. It's too right, much right, things right, going right, on. Right. So watching you do it as a fan at home, like, yeah. oh, he going there. But, but, because y'all can't, you I can't do that. Like for me, this is. I'm not a. I'm not a, a, a blogger. I'm not a. a, a, a interviewee. A journalist. Call. I'm not a journalist. I'm just. <laughs> A nigga they put a camera in front and I'm able to say how I feel, so I, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I'm talking from a, a battle rapper's point of view. Yeah. So I could sit up there and ask these questions and find out what's going on, but I don't want to put nobody character down neither or none of that. So we I ended it with, with Dan. I didn't even bring Dan on my cause Dan be, you know, constantly um like on the day I do my show, he don't Nobody got Dan on. He don't he he, he, he don't be available. So so um, I got him on. I, I just I, I I start to I do the cipher. The cipher. I'm gonna start the cipher Sundays. I was doing it on Saturdays. I'm starting cipher Sundays, and I got him on there just to talk a little bit about it. You know what I'm saying? Just to, to end it with with Dan. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you're right. But Dan is my friend in real life. Like, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying for a long time. So um, you seem a little uncomfortable at times because I'm watching this shit. I'm yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. tuning in, eating my popcorn and shit. Mm -hmm. Like yo, mm -hmm. this nigga good is breaking down the story. Niggas is sick. Mook said some wild ish that I don't even want to talk about or repeat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and questions to have asked official, all types of shit. I remember I was doing an interview with official. I said, I'm not asking that question, Mook. Yeah. You ask yeah. good to ask this question and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But um, how was it? Like, because you seem at times you was a little like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm ready to get this shit done with. Yeah, this shit is getting out of hand a little bit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I don't be, because I don't even want to keep talking about the same thing. I mean, it's out. On what it is, um, I said my piece on it. Mook said his piece on it. Rock said his piece on it. Um, Hustle said her piece on it, and now Dan said his piece on it. So at this at this point, it's for who? It's for the fans to whatever y'all want to do with it. At this point, you can either believe it or you don't believe it. That, that's just it. That's where it's at. And just leave it alone, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Do you think this will end it though, as far as like talking to the parties and seeing, or do you think it's just like? The show that never ends type shit. I don't know. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. Um, I know it kind of ends. It's gonna end with with me, right? Here. I don't really wanna. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk about it. Do none of that. Let's rock. Piss me off, son. <laughs> but me, me and Rock is in a good space. Me and Rock cool. So I don't, you know, I don't see him doing that or nothing like that. So hmm. nah, I, it's, it should be over. Period. Um, doing the show, do you feel like you know the pressure of potentially losing relationships or niggas nah, not being yeah, cool? Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People even saying that your goods a hater or trying to feel like just because you give yeah, your I opinion. Don't, I don't care about that. You don't care about none of that. I don't know. <laughs> now, it, it ain't no relationships I'm gonna lose that I care about losing. You get what I'm saying? Okay. It, it, I'm, like you know what I'm saying? Like if there's anything I care about losing or somebody that's really my friend or something like that, then I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go there or I would have that talk with them and I, I would make sure that doesn't happen. But as far as in battle rap, I don't give a fuck about what niggas saying battle rap at all. I don't care about what nobody saying battle rap. Mm -hmm. Um what was the most fun show you've had so far? The most fun? And I'd say none of those couldn't have been one of the most fun. You probably I mean, had a good yeah, time. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> me and Rock was the most fun joint. Okay. Cause just cause just to get Rock on the show and him to Rock, you know, he talked real. He answered the questions. He he even broke. I never knew what happened with him with the whole chain shit and all. Mm -hmm. He even broke that down. So that was like my most. And I, I listened to him because I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. So I'm like listening to what's going on with him. I'm like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. So. 
Maybe, maybe, yeah. Did that give you a different perspective? My first show was my most fun show. Though. Okay, okay. My first show was my most was my most fun show. That the first show to me was like one of the best show. It, it was it was that was the most fun show. That was my best okay. show to me. That's my favorite. Um, but second to that, I think I think Man Rock, yeah. What'd you learn? I mean, like you, you, with him breaking all of that down, did it give you a different perspective on what he went through and the thing? Um, yeah, he, t- he told me everything. Like he, t- like if you go watch the, you go watch it back. Is he talked about with him with Beasley and and um and he was on the phone with Beasley. Like, I didn't know all that, so it just it gave me some insight to that situation. Then just to say, oh, a nigga punched you and took your chain. Nah, they from when he said it. Yeah, you ain't. They 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 opened the door. They had the ratchets out on him. Yeah, he ain't supposed to give up the fucking chains. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing for him to do. Can't toughen that situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he, he wound up getting chains back, I guess. So, um, interacting with the fans, how's that been? Like talking to your real, you know, I be seeing they be cracking you the fuck up. Yeah, yo, that's <laughs> that's the best part of doing the show. The best part of doing the show is interacting with the fans. Like, um. And, and being real, getting paid for it. Like, I, I get to get paid for it and interact with the fans. I used to do, you know, go on my live and, and interact with the fans and, and do that. You know, so on Instagram, I wasn't getting paid for it. It's better when you could do it and get paid for it. So it's a job for me and I'm having fun doing it because I'm able to interact with the fans. See, I'm big on support, like, from, like, support from fans and, and people like that. Like, I'm, I'm big on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I support. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody... It's so easy for somebody to hate or to not support you. It's, it's the easiest thing in the world. So when somebody take time to support you, and I got people that come on there and watch me, you know what I'm saying? Every Wednesday, like that's just the, the, the biggest thing to me in the world. I've been like that. Like if you support me, like I'm gonna go 110 for you. So I appreciate that. That's why I got my penny prop crew. And I got broke gang, they, they always there. And I, <laughs> that shit is real to me, like that shit is, Really, me for real. Yeah, but you be you be dissing them, guys. When I be on the live, be like y'all niggas is whack. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You, sometimes you you come at the fans, you be like y'all motherfuckers love battle rap no. too much. That niggas is losers. No. <laughs> I be like, but, but that don't be the but that don't be the supporters though. <laughs> okay, 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 we them. <laughs> that don't be the supporters. So yeah, so okay, okay, so it's not. <laughs> but I be like, damn, this be body in the fans too. You don't be caring about none of that. Uh, no, because there be some fans in there, they don't be fans, they be haters. They be in there wild. Mm, mm, so mm. I'm going to get at them. That's not supportive. Okay, okay, okay. okay if you okay. hear me doing that, I'm, I'm getting at the, the hating. Okay, okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? Everybody's behind the computer. You don't know who these niggas are. These niggas are there just talk crazy because you're never going to see them. You don't know who they are. They get to do They get to be somebody in a comma. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes I give them what they want. It's entertaining. Okay. It's fun. So I might tell them Frank Stan a sucker. You know, that's dead. Yeah, there you go. You got what you wanted. Um, now, um, last question on your show, man. Um, you saying uh, Cypher Sundays? Are like are these gonna be new things that we're seeing with the show, or is that one of the new things? Whole another, yeah, a whole nother show. Um, oh, that's a whole nother show. Yeah, the 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 uh the what's good is the only thing. That's Wednesday nine nine p.m. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna start doing Cypher Sundays. Um, it it, it probably won't be because the album is switching from Saturday to Sundays. That's gonna be something that just switch. Um. I got a show with probably me and my daughter gonna be on there. I'm putting on there. Dope. You know what I'm saying called Goods versus Lil Goody. Um, we don't agree on nothing, so that's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> then um, I got a page on there called Goods Media. I need you to go find it, um, follow it on on Caffeine. It's called Goods Media. Where I got shows I produce. Where I came up with the idea, and I'm putting the shows on there. So yeah. I, got, I got a show coming on there in December, December fourth, called Her Point of View. It's currently being taped on 15 Minutes of Fan. You watch the YouTube, they, mm-hmm. they go live every Friday mm-hmm. um, at 8 p.m. But now, it's December 4th, it's gonna be on Caffeine. Fire. And um, it's basically three girls, three attractive girls, that just, y'all niggas need to listen, because they be saying, they be giving y'all input on shit that you wouldn't know. It's like them having girl talk and we just get to listen. So they, I, I want to make a show that's like mine, like raw, uncut from a girl point of view. Dope. So they be talking about all type of one night stands to, to, to sleeping the first day, and that, like a whole bunch of stuff. They be they be getting into it. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to bring that rawness to have three females do it. You know what I'm saying? So December 4th, Caffeine, Goods Media, go follow them. Dope, 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 man. And- and while we here, look, yeah, I was about to transition yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, get into you it. know what I'm saying? Let me, let, let, let me let you get into that. You, you feel let me? Let you uh, get into that. Not only are you doing shows and are you producing, and you got all of these dope things coming out, 
I see, I see you got cologne. Like when I heard about it, I said, Goods is probably the only nigga in bad rap that makes sense. <laughs> that comes out with a cologne. Yeah. And, and it makes complete sense. This is, man, I'm humbled by this experience because I never in a million years thought I would be doing, I would have a cologne. Chopsticks make you eat slow. Can't don't call me Negro. When you're A list, you keep your B rolls. I never learned how to walk. Hopped out the crib and G stroke.